is not the most wonderful shot in the world. You can see my ugly desk, but it's fine. It's what we're going to work with today. First up, we have my superworms. We're just going to go ahead and take out the old food and give them some fresh. So over here, I'm going to give them a big orange. piece of broccoli and some Brussels sprouts. Next up we have what looks like an empty bin. Um, this is actually where I keep my dubia roaches. They are either in this egg crate or under the paper towel. I'm gonna to be upgrading them soon. This is just kind of a temporary bin. I bought a bunch of dubias around the time that Martin went off of food. So I just kind of have these guys now. So let's get rid of the old food and give them something fresh. These guys get a little cube of orange. Brussels sprout. And they seem to really like the broccoli the last time I put it in, so some broccoli. Next we have my mealworm breeding bin. This top bin has mealworm beetles and this bottom bin actually has a couple of baby mealworms in it. This idea came from BB's Beasties, and I will link her channel down below, but it's been working out really well for me so far. Even though it doesn't look like it right now, there are actually a ton of beetles in here, so we're gonna give them quite a bit of food. I'm gonna give them orange, broccoli, Brussels sprout. And I'm also going to lift the bin and we're going to put in a couple of Brussels sprout leaves down here for the little mealworm babies. They technically have some oats and things, but I figured might as well just put a couple of these leaves in there as well. This is my accidental mealworm bin. I got a, sh a bunch of mealworms at a expo for free and Martin couldn't eat them fast enough. So now I just have a bunch of mealworm beetles. Some of them get tossed into my breeding box every now and then, but I just have a ton of them, and uh, if they breed in here, cool, and if they don't, cool. I can't bring myself to just get rid of them, and Martin won't eat beetles, because, you know, they don't taste good, I guess. And, uh, I guess these are just my pet mealworms. Okay, now we are finally at my pet inverts that are just my pets and not my feeders. These are just my personal animals. Um, first up, we have my pink foot millipede, also known as a North American millipede. Uh, I'll put the scientific name up on the screen right now. I got her a couple months ago and I love her. I was actually supposed to get two, but the shop only put one in the container. And by the time that you know I got home and contacted them and told them, 
they informed me that these were the only pink foot millipedes that they had, so kind of out of luck there. But that's alright, I plan on getting more at the next expo I go to, but for now, this girl is doing fine on her own, and we are going to give her a mist and a Brussels sprout. There she is, just chilling out on the court. She's always on this court, either underneath it or on top of it. So we're just going to carefully set her back down. And put a couple leaves of this Brussels sprout in for her to find later. Next we have some of my favorite inverts in the world, my zebra isopods, my armadillidium maculatum. guys have been breeding like crazy for me. It is just insane the amount that I have now. I actually only started out with 10. And I have a ton now. And they love, love, love fresh vegetables. As you can see, they do like to eat the dead leaves. But they will devour fresh vegetables as well, so I like to make sure that I give them some when I can. 